Welcome to the shooting show. This week we experience the best of German sport as Jason Doyle and John French switch from wild boar hunting to roebuck stalking. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. We assemble in Germany for a mixed quarry high seat hunt with Jason Doyle and John Spence taking centre stage. Basque's social media officer Nathan Little is also keen to make the most of his 15 minutes of fame. Welcome to the shooting show <laughs> with me Pete Carr. This week on shooting show Jason Doyle is in there. <laughs> where are we? Germany. Ham Germany. <laughs> this week on shooting show Jason Doyle is... Oh, well, I've just lost it now. Super. Take two. He's recording me. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but that wasn't a patch on the original. Enough messing around. Time to head out. All right, guys, now it's your turn. Jason gives us a lowdown on what we can expect from this evening's vigil. The bar are inertia, but with just 20 minutes of light left, a buck appears. Happy to switch quarry at this late stage, we watch his approach eagerly. As the buck reaches a suitable distance, John readies the rifle. All we need is the buck to turn broadside. Instead he decides to lie down with no shot available and the light fading fast. The swirling wind seems to have taken our scent to the book as he looks alert and stands up. Let him turn broadside. Unfortunately it's not to be as he turns and disappears into the forest without offering a shot. that nearly came off for us. We had a really nice six point buck came down the track and we thought he was going to walk straight to us but he just lay down just at 103 yards and um, couldn't risk a shot lying down and when he eventually did stand up it, it was like he just caught our wind or something he just stood up and looked stood facing us for 10 seconds not presenting a shot turned broadside lovely but just took two steps and disappeared into the wood so um Bit of bad luck there, but we might come back here tomorrow. He's a he's a real nice book. We retire to the hunting hut for a barbecue of wild boar sausage prepared by our host, Baron Van Bolt. Next morning we're out again in another part of the forest. 
It's a beautiful day and a privilege to be out in this part of the world. Letting the forest settle, we keenly await the fruits of the morning session. It doesn't take long before we get some action. A young buck appears following the track we walked in. A quick assessment through the Suaro Binos confirms it's a suitable cull animal. John isn't messing around and readies for a shot. The shot looked good, but we wait a good 20 minutes before approaching the shot site. John immediately sees the carcass just a few yards from the strike point. sat in the high seat just about 100 yards down there and um, this young buck came walking down just jumped in here and just sat and waited and just presented himself here by this tree took the shot there he is the first German roebuck it is yeah yeah first time shooting the 30 or 6 yeah we had bad luck yesterday evening didn't we we had a real nice buck that just didn't oh present yeah he was shot. a beauty as well no, nice yeah. to get off to Mark. Well done. Thank you very much. That evening we are back in the high seat for one last chance at a bar. It's just not to be, the boar eludes again, but we do get the opportunity to watch this beautiful rodeo just yards from the high seat. After dark we descend from the high seat to news that Nathan Little has managed to shoot a nice young Kyler with our hearst. And, I, and it was all done in a later hosen. <laughs> 
Well done, Nathan. Danke schön. <laughs>